great venue has hosted some memorable playoff games over the years, and these Bear fans are hoping to make some new memories today at Soldier Field in Chicago. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great win in store between the New York Giants and the Chicago Bears. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And a nice call and really good execution there because they gave him a little bit of a different launch angle perhaps, you know. You don't want to have the quarterback dropping back five to seven steps on every play and have the defense zero in on him. There you hope that you get your defense going one way. They sent him the other, and they picked up nice yardage with that completion. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Jalen Johnson up to make the tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Throwing Jones. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First down carry for Barkley. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Pretty effective run there. And now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality. And pound the rock. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And yeah, he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Big completion there on third and short. Keeps their opening drive alive. Not only alive, but plenty of possibilities now. First and goal. And you know me. I'm a big advocate. If you're going to throw the ball, throw it early in the down and distance count. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. Off the bootleg, Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Kadarius Tony 
A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Mahomes now on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Just the first quarter of the tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach and his future with this franchise. Uh, look, it's been a frustrating year, and I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier in the week. Yeah, he's trying to say all the right things, isn't he? But he's heard the rumors. He knows what's going on out there. And right now, he is tired of having to answer the question, are you on the hot seat in every meeting with reporters? This week, he kind of said, I've had enough. And I don't blame him. He looks like a guy that may very well be out the door. You know, if following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under, CD, I want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams, but I know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well. How do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. In a sense, you have to back off a little bit. You have to do a little bit less. Do what you're supposed to do, but don't take on the pressures of doing more and trying to do your teammates' jobs as well. If you do that, that's really going to lead to more issues. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this will be caught by Mooney. A gain of six there on first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. There goes a deep ball. in zone. And that is caught. But the bank judge right there to say incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Here's Mahomes to throw. Flushed out right. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Bears! Jarnell Mooney, 37 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. He 
each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And this is something you don't see too much of. Fullbacks trying to stretch the field. But he does a nice job there getting lost out in space and comes up with a really nice game. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Off play action. Jones. That's complete to Tony. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. They find some open field here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of the times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley there to make the grab. And the Giants have taken the lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bout. A quick throw out wide to Mooney. And some space here. There he goes left side. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. Extra point right down the middle. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. These two teams all tied after one. They'll run on first down. Barkley, and he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Working with second and five now. Off the play fake, Jones. Throw left side, complete to Tony. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. Jones eluding the pressure right. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They scored touchdowns on drives 1 and 2, and now they're trying to make it a perfect 3-for-3 three three to start. to throw Jones open man he's got him it's Tony for a giant touchdown Kadarius Tony with his second touchdown here in this first half and the Giants have broken our tie as they take the lead Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. There's Mooney with another catch. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now Mahomes. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. They go play fake. Mahomes. Oh, Johnson. Nice grab. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That's complete to Mooney. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Mahomes now to throw. Now he's flushed out right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And you can just see that whole play developing. That's where, as a defender, you just lock in on your target and say, I'm not even thinking about breaking stride. I'm running straight for the belt buckle because where it goes, that's where you find his body. And he was able to get in there and make a great play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight. Jones rolling to his right. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Jones on first down. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. And this play is going nowhere as he dives to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. And that nearly intercepted. 
Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does. But we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once it threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Second and 10, a very chilly day oh, no. here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Now this throw caught left side. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Mahomes to throw once more. And the catch made by Johnson. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Complete to Mooney on the slam. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From the two now, second and goal. They will run with Ware. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Bears are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is down to a field goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Let's take it in at the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. On oh, first and 10, here's Mahomes. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, Drummond. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Being chased out left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. He could not get away that time. And it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Here comes the Bears punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On oh, 
On second and a yard. Jones. And throw right side complete to Parker. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Hold on a second. Was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says that the slot receivers are the only guys who can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch? Really nice job there. Showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. To Barkley on the check down. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Stops short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So that time the pressure got home just as he was releasing the football and caused the pick. And what it did was it disrupted that fragile balance of the mechanics of throwing the football. You know, from the footwork to being able to actually throw it downfield. If one piece of that puzzle gets disrupted, it affects the entire chance of success. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Second and 10 here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. They'll try the left side. Drummond. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Mahomes going to throw. Here's Johnson with a reception. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 
I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he just throws this one away. That was a bit strange, and here comes the flag. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Every penalty so critical at this stage of the game is now they've got it third and long. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Bears on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and 17. Now it's Mahomes again. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And his kick is indeed good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers at you. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he off the field. Get that nigga up off the field. Yeah. There you go. Hey, they got, so I was eating fucking fries and wings, bro. <laughs> Let your ass stay in this game, man. <laughs> man you hey, look, you're doing your thing, man. You learned from the last time. I'll give you that. You learned from the last time. This is a much better game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a much better nigga, much better game, man. I like how you mix it up. You making me actually think on defense. Last couple games, I ain't had to think at all, man. Don't get hit again now. Alright, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back solid, man. Do your thing, dog. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And this is a unit that needs to get in gear if they want to play for a conference championship next weekend. Down seven here in the fourth and a very critical drive upcoming. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And that'll bring up second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. The disrespect. Oh, the streak on me, nigga. Got that shit out. Preventing the touchdown <laughs> after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. 
touchdown from 17 yards out. And the Bears are moving closer to a date now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Here's second and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. A very tough run, but for a short gain out near the 32. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked off around the 41. Say it ain't so, Billy Ho. Say it ain't so. I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other hey, bro, side. Bro, did you forget what happened to uh, Mahomes' throws? How, how many times did Mahomes overthrow somebody this game, away. bro? Come on now. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. So eight yards on the completion there. Well, <laughs> second down. Another nice pick up through the air. Hey. Expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But you you had a couple lead, fluke things go your way this game. It's all good, swing, man. Slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. <laughs> plenty. Plenty, my nigga. <laughs> Bro, the overthrows by Mahomes for they one. That shit was insane. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Oh, all right, so I have a 99 overall quarterback with 99 action across the board. Jawan Jackson, a 14-yard touchdown. <laughs> he overthrew a touchdown. I had, I had the one where I threw my 99 overall receiver in the back of the end zone. Didn't get his feet down. Like, you you threw a pick. You threw a, you threw a pick to the flat. You threw a pick to the flat that wasn't picked. The kickoff yeah. unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not much on this one takes it. So what, ha what happened to the what happened to the the, the, the deep override I threw to the left sideline, where the, the receiver just did not line. go for the pass. He was wide as open, right? Um, another one that went to the right sideline, wide open, wasn't caught. I'm like, I'm just sitting here, like I heard you say earlier in the game. You was like, I just got weathered the storm, nigga. That's what I was doing. I was weathering the storm. The Giants offense. This shit was real out here. <laughs> ready to begin their next drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a thread, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong <laughs> side of the scoreboard. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and we got him. Time tonight, it's an interception. Ah, we can't get a pick six to save our lives. It's a tremendous hey. return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. 
Another solid game-changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan oh. behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. Ware takes the give from Mahomes, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, <laughs> Chicago. A great play there. His second touchdown. Did you run commit left? And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they got run commit left on that shit, man. I form wing. You know it. You know that stretch alert coming. Point after, right down the middle, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Is the kickoff unit as they run oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. send this one away. I mean, out of that formation, I'm only running three plays anyway. <laughs> Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. <laughs> um, honestly, bro, I don't even think that was it. I think it was just because I score, I score before half. I score before half, and I'm like, all right, I get ball at half. If I score out of half. I'm good. If I don't, it's a game. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they knew this would be tough on the road, divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And incomplete Woo! on the deep ball. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of that. That's not a simple pass. That was a 60-yard ball. True to form for him. I don't know. That's a 60-yard ball. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what. Oh we, oh we. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, if five interceptions is that that's tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I think that's that a tough lot of right there. Hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, <laughs> yo, you had one, bro. You had one. That shit wasn't called. I was like, yo, if that ain't DPI, I don't know what the fuck it is. Stand man. On the sideline and watch the rest of it. Um, backup can do any better. What I can't remember. It was like fucking early second quarter or some shit like that. And I was, I was like, man, that nigga got me on that one, bro. That nigga got me. I think it might have been my first turnover, too. Running on first down with Ware. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. They got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they Hey, man, look, I ain't going to tell nobody, man. I ain't going to tell nobody. to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. The secret's safe with me, dog. And that was dirty. That was dirty. I really wanted to kill more clock, but fuck. Some man. Another touchdown. <laughs> They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. Gotta get my starters up out of here. Would run right through this stadium. Somebody's gonna have yeah, to I gotta get my starters out of the game. I'm gonna sub them out. I don't think it's this week. So I might take a time out after, you know, after the future. If there's anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. Shit. Looks like it's getting hurt in the fourth quarter of games. And not much on this one. Boom. Takes it from the 21. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. All right, who we need to take? I can't take out that one. Let me do this formation here. Damn, everybody's in. Give me this bum. Give me this bum. <laughs> Josh Job, Arwarie. The Giants offense out. at the line. I gotta get these guys off the field. Next drive. Now the Bears gonna call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. Yeah. We'll be back after this. 
And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. on my team. I tell you I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football. And they call a play with all the fucking starters in the game. Ain't that a bitch? You have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. I left that now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And able to get this one across the 45 before good, he's brought though. down. Well, this game was decided a while ago. <laughs> that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They run with Barkley on first down, and he gets about I had one good rep against that play. I have a two-yard or something. With. Good, solid Everything yardage. Else. Take so I have one good rep against that play. Every, 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 every other play, you got 10 yards out of that shit. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Yo, did you get the new game yet? So it's Giants Did football you get the new Madden yet? As we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. It came out today, score. man. Just pay the $5. You can get it now. Oh, that motherfucker's out now, bro. Jones. Oh, that was almost a pick. And he's got some space here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the Yeah, I was, um, like, when I when I hit you this morning or this afternoon or whatever, I, had, uh, I was, like, you know, trying to hop on the game and play this. But then I loaded up, and I was like, oh, yeah, let me see if I can, if I can get EA play so I can fucking play the new game. Sure enough. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. That better not be rough in the passer, bro. Straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to touch the ground. Yes. <laughs> no, nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your. Yo, point. look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Shaq Barrett comes in for fucking two plays and he's hurt. Down. Told you them niggas be fucking drawing, bro. That's crazy. That's wild, man. Come in for two plays and you hurt. They wild. lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Because it's as a bum. <laughs> oh, he was my starter for two years, but um, his ass regressed and only got one ability. So he's some shit. He's now up over that 300 yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards there. still signifies excellence. And the ball is knocked out. <laughs> the defense not able to get it from, from a defensive perspective. A body over Warriors. The ball is loose. It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about for, in all ass. your preparation for the game. And you've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation. Ah. And this is caught. Well, Great pass. I thought guy. she was going to that tight end wheel. Picking up the late touchdown oh. here, but still down big. You got it figured out by the He got me, mate. He got me. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and right, we'll I get a review of this being now. inside oh, two minutes of play. Yeah. Everything coming from up above. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. That shit crazy, ain't it? You say that shit out loud, it's like, damn, nigga. <laughs> Bailey now to kick it away after the all touchdown. All in the fourth. Yo, it couldn't have all been in the fourth, bro. I had to do something in the first three quarters. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Yeah. <laughs> yo, and that, that'd be the spark I'd be needing, bro. I'd be like, yo, just let me get a hit on kickoff, bro. Let me get a hit. Back Lit his ass up. It is a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I got I got all hitters on my fucking special teams. Like all my backup safeties and corners all can hit. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> so they stay alive.
GG, boy.